Bill Peters for Fire Apparatus Magazine. Today's apparatus tips, we're going to talk about specking fire apparatus. Um, specking fire apparatus, uh, the place to go is NFPA 1901, the fire apparatus standard. And there's a lot of good information in there. If you're specking any wildland information, including brush trucks or crew carriers, that's NFPA 1906. Both of them are current editions, came out in the beginning of this year, 2016. The first thing you have to do is identify the primary mission that your apparatus is going to perform. Is it going to be a pumper with a large tank, or is it going to be a, a tank or a mobile water supply with a, uh, a fire pump on it? Once again, you've got to go through the standard, understand what the requirements of each are, and then uh, uh, call that out in your specifications uh, what it's going to be. Um, the same thing is true. You could have an aerial truck with a pump and tank that don't qualify as a quint, or you could have a pumper that uh, has an aerial device on it that don't qualify as a quint. Maybe you don't have enough ground ladders. A quint's required to have 85 feet of ground ladders. So it's important that you get the standard, you work with the standard, and go from there. In the back of the standard, Annex B has a check sheet. And if you're in the uh, uh, buying a rig, what you can do is take the check sheet, you and the committee can sit there, fill it out, and uh, put in all of your uh, wants and needs. And what it does is it follows the standard through, and each area of the standard, uh, it checks off whether you want it, you don't want it, or if you have certain requirements for it. So it'll give you guidance, and it'll give you a little bit of uh, feeling that uh, you didn't skip anything. And then uh, I would present the findings to several manufacturers and see what they can do with it. That's today's apparatus tips. I'm Bill Peters. Thank you.